Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is How does your person currently feel about you? In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different rock. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so how does your person currently feel about you? Okay, group number one. So right away, what I'm seeing with the wishing well reversed is that your person currently feels like what you two had has been completely flipped upside down and they currently feel like their life is like feels like it's been flipped upside down. Okay, so that fairy tale romance that you two shared is no longer a thing and I really do feel like they're trying to adjust to this new reality as best they can and really try to you know like process it and move forward but it, I've it, everything feels pretty foreign to them right now and they're not sure really what to make of anything like what to make of you and them what to make of each of your parts of what ended this connection and What's interesting is it's kind of like there's been this extra like obstacle thrown here with the owls. I'm getting that they feel like a lot of talk has been going on like amongst friends and this could be between them and their friends, you and your friends. I'm just getting like kind of like this talk and this gossip going around. You guys might even have mutual friends. So there's definitely like all this chit chat and gossip, you know, going on a lot of talk. Possibly for some of you too, there could have been like some kind of outside influence that might have, you know, interfered with your guys' connection. That won't be for all of you. In fact, that's a really small portion of you. So take what resonates. I'm just getting like a lot of talk going on currently about you two and, you know, whatever went down between you guys. Um, now, what's interesting before I get on before I explain the rest of the cards, when I saw this card as well as the rest of them, um, the song that came to me is MGK's song, and he's like, something like, since you walked out that door, I've been holding on to a memory, you're not mine anymore. Yeah, and he's talking about, you know, like, you were the one that he felt high off of, and now you're gone, so you're not mine anymore, and, you know, he holds on to this memory, but it's like it doesn't get him anywhere, so that's definitely, like, the energy that I'm feeling, that your person is currently feeling about you guys, like, they do, you know, look back, and they do think about you, and, like, the best times that they had with you, and how, you know, they just felt so good, and so joyful and alive and now it's over so all they have of you is this memory but they, it just ends up you know hurting them that they're not with you and they feel like they just need to now move on as best they can because you're not theirs anymore so that is definitely the energy dynamic that's coming through for you guys so Along with that, though, I'm also feeling like, you know, your person is still, like, highly attracted to you. Um, I do feel like they're, they're thinking back to, like, their favorite memories with you currently and just thinking, like, how much they miss you and miss, you know, the things that you did and all that, as well as talking to you. Um, okay, so, yeah, I'm definitely feeling, you know, like, they feel like, man, you know, one minute I could call this person up or text them and let them know, like, what has been going on, and then now I can't. Like, they feel like they're really feeling the, the brunt of this connection being over, because with the ring reversed, I just feel like, you know, it's really hitting them that, wow, you're not mine anymore. Like, I can't just do that. So, yeah, it's like really hitting them is the impression I'm getting. And with the compass, I really do feel like they're trying to move on, but it's like they can't they can't let go of you. Like there's a part of them that can't move on from this connection is what I'm seeing. And then with the five of air here, I feel like they just feel like they left this situation feeling like they lost, you know, and for some of you, you might have gotten into it like as like the last time that you guys spoke you know, 
um, either way, I just feel like it's kind of like, you know, how in an argument, like nobody feels like they've won. Like you walk away feeling like you just lost, like no, and nobody feels good from it. That's like currently how they're feeling about this, you know? And it's just like a real cut off feeling is what I'm seeing with that. The sun is here. So, you know, I feel like there is a part of them that will always like have this place for you in their heart. And they, there was love there, but at the same time, you know, I'm the five of earth follows that. So they definitely feel cut off and shut out of your life, you know, like that out in the cold feeling. And I'm just getting like this real, like fiery, almost competitive energy to kind of show you like, okay, you know, if this is how we're going to be. Then I'm going to act like I'm fine without you, even if I'm missing you like crazy. Okay. That's also what's coming through. Okay, so, yeah, okay, like, here's what, this is interesting, so we have five, five, and five here, okay, and, um, as well as a nine, which is, like, the end of a chapter, you know, one door closing, another door opening, and the three fives represent change, so, like, this dramatic change of dynamic has happened between you guys okay and it's like you're both like trying to understand what happened as well as like okay like what am i supposed to do now and making sense of your new reality is the feeling that i'm getting from both of you and they feel like you guys are acting fine without them okay and that was this competitive energy that i was picking up on with the five of fire here and i feel like they're kind of like mirroring that back no matter how they feel right now okay All right. So yeah, you know, there's definitely this pride. And so if you're not getting any sign from them about missing you or wanting another chance, that's why. So they're definitely, you know, in this pride mode right now, like they're not going to show how they really feel. Um, but they definitely are coming across no matter how they're acting, like they're still wondering about you and that they are attracted to you though. I do, you know, it's interesting because I feel like, you know, they're kind of viewing you guys as being stubborn right now and they think, you know, like you're not bending at all. You're not trying to be open-minded and see things from their perspective is what I'm seeing with my window card here. So with that pride full energy, you know, they're just like, okay, then I'm going to focus on me and I'm going to build up my life and not, you know think about you so they're really trying to dive into whatever is currently in front of them is what I'm seeing with that meanwhile like I was saying they feel like you know you're just out there doing your thing you're shining you're acting fine without them whether you are or you're not that's like that's how you're coming across to them right now They think, though, you know, you guys, like a light's going to dawn on you and that you are going to see things, something from their point of view and hit them up. That's what they're hoping for. And like I was saying, like they're really just diving. They're really channeling into this like Aries like energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Aries, but more so than that, I'm getting that they are like really channeling into this Aries like energy, very go getter, very action oriented, even like the chariot energy. And they're just like really focused on their goals right now. Like they would have been anyway, but I feel like they really are now as a way to deal with not being with you and yeah, I just I feel like, you know, like I said like they're kind of waiting to see if they hear from you and get any sign that you, you know, want to communicate or try something again. And that's what I'm seeing. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so how does your person currently feel about you? Okay, group number two. So right away, what I'm seeing with the dice here is that one of you did something that was like a risk to this connection and I feel like, you know, it like broke the connection. Okay, so somebody took a risk and they lost is what I'm seeing. And then the opposite person feels like, like kind of like, how could you do that? 
you know, I was here for you the whole time I was loyal and I expected the same in return, okay? So, yeah, and it's interesting because I feel like this is going to be 50-50. So for some of you, this was your person. They took some kind of risk and lost. And for others of you, I feel like it was you. So, you know, take which resonates. It feels pretty down the middle though as far as like who's going to be on which side okay so but then we have the sun here so that tells me that you know there's still love and there's still hope for this connection okay and I feel like there's the risk could have had something to do with finances is what I'm seeing with this card. Okay, so something was definitely going on where, you know, insecurities were brought up. And yeah, I just feel like, you know, somebody acted out of character and it backfired is what I'm seeing with this combo here. And I feel like, you know, the way that your person is dealing with this is that they are diving into work or school and you know just I feel like yeah that's currently what's going on but here's also what's interesting we also have the swan and the destiny card so that tells me that though no matter what happened your person definitely feels like you two are destiny and that you are like their soulmate like you're the one okay so whether you guys are still together or not, I feel like you're still connected, okay? That's like the energy that's coming through with the sun, the swan, and the destiny card. Okay, so... Oh, also, for some of you, there might have been an imbalance. Like, somebody might have been spending too much time somewhere, okay? I see, though... Okay, your, your person, though, is currently focused on building up their future right now and that really could have to do with finances because you know we have the pentacles here so it's just it's really standing out to me as part of what you know was the problem and then with patience which is temperance I feel like you know there's there's a lot of healing going on currently between you and your person and kind of like, you know, just this feeling of both of you not really wanting to acknowledge each other with her face turned the other way. And then she's like, you know, touching her heart. So it's really about getting back to what matters right now. And as well as your core is what I'm seeing. So tapping back into that love in this midst of chaos and really, I feel like that, you know, it's like, that is what's going to speed up the healing. The other thing that's standing out to me is the number 14. So that's, that, you know, comes out to five, one plus four. So there's a lot of change currently going on is what I'm seeing. A lot of things being brought to the surface to be let go of and healed between both of you I feel okay so what's interesting is when I first you know when the nine of water flew out I and I almost did it just now I I keep wanting to say nine of earth so that tells me that you know since there are no accidents um you guys you're definitely both holding this nine of earth energy which is a very like I'm doing me right now, you know, very, in, it's the most independent card in the deck. So it's like, okay, so you both are currently in this energy of I'm doing me, I'm doing what's right for me, and I will get back to you once I feel like, you know, things are right in my world right now, because they don't feel right. Okay, so that is currently the energy that they're in right now. And I feel like you are as well, like you're both mirroring this, okay. But, okay, so the Nine of Water has more of an optimistic twist with this connection. Like, overall, I do feel like you both are your guys' like, wish, okay? Like, you do want this to work. 
you do have like hope that you know you guys can have that sun like outcome like the best possible outcome for yourselves but it's just kind of like not right now is the feeling that's coming through for this okay what's also interesting is these two have like their backs turned toward each other okay like i was saying before like i'm getting the impression that you know there's kind of just this feeling of you know you're still in my mind you're still in my heart but i'm not dealing with you right now okay or I'm not communicating with you, or something has shifted and changed in that regard. And it's interesting because it's kind of like, well, the distance card came out as well. So for some of you, this could be a long distance connection, or you guys are at a physical distance currently. And for others of you where that's not the case, then it is representing that you two feel like you're, you know, you have this distance between you currently. And that's also like what I was saying with these two, having their backs turned towards each other. And like I was also saying, so on one hand, you know, you guys, you feel like, you know, I'm doing me, I got to heal and, you know, create some kind of balance in my life. This also represents balance. And then on the other hand, it's kind of like, but you're, you do hope for the best. You do still have that love with the water here. And, you know, like that big old gem is right by her. It's like, it's not far from you guys, okay? It's just, you know, you have that. You've got to heal so you can move toward the gem, toward the treasure, which is your relationship. Okay, so what's also interesting is they currently are viewing you guys like the queen of fire. So even if you're a guy, just flip that. So, you know, like you are very lively, passionate and very heart driven. And you're just kind of like doing your thing right now. And, you know, they, they want you to keep doing that. Like they love to see you like that. It's just, I just get the impression they they wish things were different. Okay, that's actually really befitting since this is like the wish card. But it's also a nine as well. So it's like a very independent, very, like I said, doing me right now. But you're still on my mind and my heart. Okay, so that is definitely the theme right now. Okay, so... Yeah, and, you know, with the Earth card, that, that's interesting that this came out after it came to me of the Nine of Earth. It's kind of like, yeah, you know, you both have a lot to do. It looks like practic like in the area of materialism in your life. So, like, as far as bo both of your finances are on your mind, I'm seeing. School could be on your mind as well. Um, as So, taking care of practical needs right now is what's currently, like, in front of both of you. So, that has definitely taken up a lot of your attention and focus and energy, you know, while you have your relationship in the back of both of your minds. So, your person, though, okay, so even though they have a lot of practical stuff going on, they're currently, like, feeling like a cancer as far as, you know, they're caught up in their feels, whether they're letting it show or not that's like the energy that's come through for some of you could be dealing with a cancer they have cancer in their chart but more so than that i'm getting that they're currently acting like a cancer in the fact that you know they they've got a lot of stuff going on emotionally so there's this whole internal world going on for them and they're really trying to understand how to like process and deal with this while attending to the practical side of life you know work school all that a family like we have the 10 here of earth so you know everything involving practicality work school family home life juggling it all while trying to remain you know balanced as well as heal from what happened between you guys so you both are being called to be patient currently as far as this connection goes I'm also seeing that you two have this telepathic connection between each other, okay? So you're very connected. So whether you guys are actually physically together or not, or are communicating or not, you guys, you know, it's like you guys get signs or symbols that could also, it could be through music, it could be through, you know, different 
signs out in front of you. Um, you guys can feel each other's presence, like whether you're together or not, you know what each other are feeling. So it's definitely like more than just like a relationship connection. You guys have this like telepathic spiritual connection. It's definitely deep. So we also have this card. So in this card, you see it's very dark. But there is a light here. So that tells me that even though you two are currently going through what would be considered a dark period for you both, you know, you are experiencing, you know, things, things are coming up to the light to be like faced and healed and let go of. And there's all this change and transformation taking place and processing and understanding. It's kind of like, keep your focus toward the light, okay, toward what inspires you, because I do feel like there is a light at the end of the tunnel, so just keep going forward and be patient as far as this connection goes, and, you know, going back to the telepathic connection, because you two are so connected, it's like when you think of your person, like, send them love, okay, because love is like the ultimate healing power, you know, and that is is going to help tremendously is what's coming through to me on this. So yeah, that's what I'm currently seeing for you, group number two. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what does your person currently feel about you? Okay, group number three. So I see right away with this, with the sigh here that you two definitely cut off from this connection, okay? And it was um, very abrupt and like, oof, you both felt it big time is what I'm seeing with this kind of energy. So I feel like, you know, things were going really well one minute and it was like a fairy tale and you both were like, wow, like this is amazing. I feel so happy and alive. And then boom, something happened and the whole thing just shifted and it like blindsided you. And yeah, you both cut off from this connection. Okay, so this is interesting though. So as obvious as that is, your person's energy is very obvious. Like it's, it matches this, okay? So it's like your person definitely wants a clean, like a fresh start with you guys. Okay. Yeah. So they have a very like knight of air or swords energy to them. Okay. I feel like they're a pretty fast paced moving person. Like I'm just getting like a real like when their mind's made up, like there's like this sudden shift with them and things happen. Okay. So yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, and they it's they definitely want a commitment. Like I feel like they're they want to come back around and show you how grown up they are, you know? Like I actually feel like they feel proud of this. Like there's some kind of shift or change that they made within themselves or they will be depending on, you know, where they're at with all this and once they feel like they've made whatever shift and change this thing is they that is when I feel like they'll come back around because I currently feel like you two aren't in communication but or it's like you know like once in a blue moon but they are definitely still keeping an eye on you guys okay and looking for any indication like how you feel and you know are you missing them and what do you want is what i'm seeing with that they do feel like though you guys currently are like both at a crossroads and it could go either way okay so they're not being like you know like they they realize that okay so with the book here, I feel like, you know, there's something like they want to share with you about what happened. That's what I'm getting with that. Like they do realize like you two need like this clear, honest communication. Okay. And uh, yeah. And I'm feeling like they're dreaming of this like passionate reunion with you guys with this card. Okay. So I'm getting like kind of like Ace of Swords energy with the book and Page of Fire energy with 
the bridge so they definitely want to bridge this gap between you guys and make this right and I'm just getting like this real passionate reunion okay like a fireworks type feeling and on top of the world okay so next we've got the ace of fire reversed seven of swords king of air as well as the nine of earth and page of water so what these cards tell me is okay so your person kind of had this like feeling of i want my cake and i want to eat it too type energy going on so um this is interesting I feel like the reason that you two broke off was due to some kind of childish reason, okay? Like, they were being childish on their part, is what I'm getting. And like I was saying, like, I do feel like this was a very passionate, lively connection that was short-lived with the Ace of Fire reversed. And then with the Seven of Air, like, I do feel like they did something that, like, jeopardized this connection with you. Um, okay, so they are also coming across as the king of air, which is funny because the knight of air is what came to my mind energetically. So I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't an air sign, but either way they act like an air sign. I'm not quite getting that they're a king quite yet. Like I'm not seeing that maturity, but maybe that's how like they view themselves. So they want you to view them that way. Okay. That's like coming through. They're definitely intelligent. I feel like this person is witty. They might even be fast speaking. Like all of a sudden as I'm talking about them, I want to speak fast. So that's interesting. I'm kind of getting like Gemini energy, but they definitely could be an Aquarius or Libra. Libra in particular did come through. So I definitely feel this person is, you know, they're very observant. I actually feel like, uh, like, the flip side to this air side is, yeah, they're intelligent, they're observant, but sometimes they can get caught up in their head. This person, though, I almost feel like a little bit of fire energy mixed with it. That's what made me think Gemini, because often Geminis remind me of a fire sign. And I feel like they kind of, like, blurt things out before they think it through. So, yeah, definite Gemini or fire sign vibes with that. And I feel like sometimes their actions are the same way. And I feel like that had something to do with what happened. They were impulsive about something that kind of jeopardized, like, your guys' connection is what I'm seeing. So I feel like currently you guys are like, mm, yeah, you know, okay, if you're going to do that, then bye. I don't need you, okay? That kind of energy is coming through. But at the same time, I feel like you do miss them or you wouldn't be checking this out. And... Yeah, I feel like they're mirroring this energy too. Like they're like, you know, very independent vibe and like, okay, yeah, I'm cool on my own too. But they're missing you as well. So you both are mirroring that energy. And I do feel like with the page of water, they want to come back around and, you know, give like you possibly an apology, but it could be an explanation, okay, with the book here. Yeah, so... They're definitely clear through these cards that they want you guys back, okay? All right, these are the cards that are next. And, okay, so I feel like whatever it was that they did that jeopardized this connection, it it left you in a position of feeling jealous. So this could have involved another person. They could have entertained another person or, you know, said or did something that was flirty or that you felt like crossed the line, like something like that. Um, and yeah, like I said, definitely like this childish, I want my cake, I want to eat it too. And they regret it because they definitely feel the brunt of this cutoffness. And like I said, like their energy is very clear that they want to get back what they had with you. Yeah. Okay. So with this card, I do feel like, you know, with this very, like your person has a very childlike nature. Okay. So 
it's like on the plus side to that, I feel like they're a very happy-go-lucky, you know, spontaneous person who kind of just does what comes to them in the moment. So I feel like you guys feel very like lively, very excited, very like, woo, like life's an adventure. What's going to happen next? They keep you on your toes. Okay, so kind of even like Aries vibes with that. You don't know what they're going to say. You don't know what they're going to do. Life's interesting. But the flip side to that is that they can be immature, okay? They can be, you know, act without thinking. They can do things that they don't even know bother people. That's also kind of like Aries energy coming through. So, okay, group three, you might be dealing with a Gemini or Aries or somebody who acts like that, okay? It's interesting. Okay, so, yeah, you know, I see that <laughs> they're like, yeah, you know, I've grown up. I... I want to start something new with you and build with you and grow with you is what I'm seeing. Um, there's also something about both of you that I felt like, I feel like you guys feel like you both were different than everybody else. And that's what initially drew you to, to each other. And even for you guys, it might be even the way they speak and the way they act. I just get that, you know, you guys, you get a kick out of this person, I feel. And they just stand out to you in such a different way. And they make you feel like unique and like special. And I feel like, yeah, it's like why you guys are both so drawn to each other. I feel like they view you the same way. You guys are also coming across like a cancer. So, you know, I do see that you're, you're definitely in your feels. You're also very intuitive and aware of things. And it's kind of like, you know, this person, they weren't going to get by you is what I'm seeing. So... Yeah, okay, so I feel like you both love your freedom, and that that's another thing that you both like about each other, is you both give each other space, you both have like a life outside of each other, but you also, you also love when you're both together, okay, so that's, that's cool to see, you both have like that going on, that dynamic, that dance, it's kind of like... There is a thing about trust between you two, though, okay? So, like, you both might have um, more of a challenge in trusting each other, you know? And, yeah, it's kind of like, I think that's honestly partly what you both have to go through with this dynamic is learning how to trust again, okay? So that's part of what I'm seeing is part of your guys is like growing, you know, to really become that elevated self is to learn how to trust again. That's definitely coming through. Like whether you two end up being together or not, that's definitely something that's coming up to be dealt with is any trust issues you have when being involved with somebody. Yeah. I do see, though, that your person, they miss you, though. So that's sweet to see, group three. It's a very sweet energy, honestly. I do feel like this person means well. It's okay, group number three. This is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye, guys.